na mede me ma mo se ewrade yesu anadwo a wo yi no ma ye no ofa pa no na oda ase bubu mu na oka se yei ni mi ni pedua a wo rebubu ama mo no munye yei mfa nya me nka ye saara nso na edidie no akire no ofa akruwa no ka se kruwa yi ni apam fofro miara mi mojemu de biara a mo benom ano munye yei mfa nya me nka ye na de biara a mo be di pa no yi na mo benom kruwa yi ano no mo pai ewrade wuo no mu ka kosi se obeba amen Father God, we thank you for a day like this. We pray for grace to minister. We pray, O oh God, that you will refresh us through the ministry of your word. And you will empower us for service. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Amen. And so, the lost table. Today, we are at the lost table to dine with him. And it is important for us to have the understanding, the reason for being at the lost table. And its significance. I believe that when we gain that understanding and during communion time, you will not say, oh, pass it on, pass it on. You will eat it. So for so GD says, I would see Say yeah, 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 a do say yeah, chat a bo doni and sanwa. Won't cast away a manon co now I won't feb. Because you are dining with the Lord. If it's only a radin at one said it. And so the Corinthians, the book of Corinthians, or the epistle of Corinthians was written by the Apostle Paul. And whilst Roman, the book of, or the epistle of Roman emphasizes the matter of biblical theology, Corinthians emphasizes the matter of practical theology. Um, Christo, Nyama Yashese, a war, a sumunum, Nakorin to Fornidia, or Chai said the Abyssidia took an among, and its application to a particular local church. And he said, You see, the Juma, a wasa for to say a demo. So Paul the apostle was addressing a particular local church. There were issues in the church he had to address. As a matter of fact, the apostle Paul has stayed in Corinth as the church was planted for one and a half years. But uh, AD 55, he was in Ephesus and he wrote this letter to the church in Corinth. To address the issue of division in the church and also to solve problems concerning gifts as well as the taking of the Lord's Supper. Due to the fact that Corinth was a very wealthy you know, city at the time, there was a temple in that in that in that city that hosted the goddess of love. And that goddess had over a thousand prostitutes in that temple. The, it was part of the worship and they also um, you know, entertained the people in the night. That's like some places in Africa here. And as a result of that kind of practice, that was their worship. That was their worship. Now, that kind uh, of practice. There was so much sin in Corinth. Yes, I too too brano. Now, aye, almost sum. Now, now, yes, sum ni sum tino. At the bone kasiye ba kronum. And in that practice, also, there was this mi- mystery, uh, uh, you know, kind of eating. Of it's not the Lord's Supper, but the. the they used to gather to eat like the Lord's Supper. There was something similar. In that temple. And in that eating, it is believed that the more you eat, the more you become high. 
you are transformed from this realm into another realm, into the realm of the spirit. Very mysterious. So when they gathered for communion, people were, you know, trying to eat and eat and eat. That was the focus. The other problem was the fact that during those times, there was the first something like love feast where they will eat first and then the, the Lord's Supper itself will, will happen. No, this, this in the church. The, uh, you're talking, okay. The church, it's yeah. the same. You're going to pass for you to pass so what we are going to do is the second part of this worship but because they were having the church in people's homes the wealthy homes and so at the point the wealthy people didn't want to mingle with the, the lowly amongst them so if if they are supposed to meet by seven, six o'clock, the wealthy will speak among themselves, they will come so early and eat their food. And by the time they come, the 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 the, the, the the poor people come to church. The main food is finished. But there is something the apostle Paul, you know, the, 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 the word of God came to solve. You know, segregation and tribalism and all that. But, but now, this Lord's Supper is bringing this division again to the and church. So, and because people come to church and they don't have food to eat, they now I'm, I'm bitter against this person. This one is also bitter against that person because I didn't get some of the food. And there was so much unforgiveness in the church, in that church. And because of that bitterness and unforgiveness, people were falling sick. Some of you are not aware that bitterness and rancor and unforgiveness can destroy your own health. It can. Because when you forgive someone, you are the one who benefits, not the person who has offended you. I mean, it heals you. Physically, mentally, emotionally, you are healed. And so it was giving them health issues in the church, in not because of the communion, but because they were bitter among themselves. And because people misinterpret this passage to mean that hey, you, you should be careful in taking the communion, otherwise you will die. It was not the communion that was killing them. So it was a bitterness and unforgiveness. That was the main issue. And the you know, wrong motive that you have to eat more so that you go high. But we have to get the true meaning. The apostle Paul had to explain to them the true meaning of the lost table. Say it is a time of remembrance. We must remember Jesus anytime we gather at his table. Remember what? Jesus himself said that twice. He said, do this in remembrance of me. If someone is hitting 
a particular sport, then it means that sport is important to him. Yes, one kasa no kaya or can imprenu. Was say mu emedito mu baya sano mu nyemfanya min kaya na so bi kasa no kasa no siswa na chesa se mu nyam. Anyone who doesn't take the communion, you are not remembering Jesus. Inti sa un un kwe radi di dia un kai Jesus. What has Jesus done for you not to remember him? Because it's an instruction to you to remember him. When you refuse to take the communion, you refuse to remember Jesus. All that he's done for you, have you forgotten? He says, remember me. What do we remember? We have to remember his broken body. You know, he broke the body first. He could have just given it to them. That represents the suffering he went through at Calvary. So you have to remember the suffering he went through. Remember his unlawful arrest in the middle of the night. We should remember his unfair trial and yes. false accusation against him. Anytime you are going to the, uh, the lost table, remember the betrayal of Judas. The whole finance minister. I mean, this is the most painful thing anyone will ever go through. What will you feel that your, your trusted friend, your bosom friend, will betray you and sell you for money? Look at all the raps Peter gave to Jesus. Hey, I will die for you. I will do this for you. Hey, no, 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 whatever, I'll be there for you. But another friend, another bosom friend also denied him thrice. So anytime you are going to the lost table, just picture what Jesus went through. His bosom friends, look at what they did to him. The disciples, when he was about to die, in a very critical moment, in his most difficult time, they deserted him. They all deserted him. So anytime you come to the Lord's table, remember what he went through, that suffering. Look at the brutal treatment received from the soldiers. The soldiers were so callous. They were mocking at him. Have you experienced someone mocking at you before? That thing can be emotionally traumatized. They blindfolded him. They spat in his face. If I spit in your face, what will happen to me? They beat him up. They gave him slaps. They put tons, a uh, crown of tons on his head and they pressed it. One thing about me, anytime time I go to the clinic or lab center, wherever, and they are just going to take blood. Even taking up blood, and I'll be shaking. Hey! So, for so, what do you know what's happening? It's not a blood, though. It's the needle. I mean, uh -huh. is it the needle? How do you call it? Oh, slow, Paniano. Paniano, the Chimojano. It's not the blood that is going. When I was a child, when I, I, they taking me to the hospital for injection, the way I would dance, I, you know, the, I would dance throughout. So, it means what I even go through is more even difficult than the, 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 the ingestion itself. Look at what Jesus went through. Look at the pressing that thing on his head. Look at the ships, the lashes. You know, the kind of lashes they gave you, man. The, there were some metal things around that thing. So, when they do it like this and then roll it, your, your flesh comes out of your skin. 
Look at the cross. The cross he carried. You, you carry a back of of water and you say your neck. Who swells you? Book it back. I said, Mikoya The Kaya people. Ah, okay. It's not what the Kaya people carry. Ah, and yet the Kaya for as one if the cross was so heavy. I said, No, 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 At a point, someone who had to come. Help him out. That is the suffering he went through. The money of him, no, no. And nailing. The nails. His nerves were destroyed. Um, hmm. So when he broke that bread, he said, "My body was broken. I suffered and I suffered for you." So, whenever you come to the Lord's table, it is a solemn hour. Just think about what Jesus did for you. Yeah, the suffering. Because of me and because of you. Secondly, when we come to the Lord's table, we have to remember the cross or the death. He died for us. The blood he shed represents death. In fact, he did not die of old age. He was sick and he died. Not that he did it unwillingly. He purposefully decided to die for our sins. Just remember that nerve that was destroyed because of the nail then, then his nerves okay. were destroyed because and of the nail remember the exhaustion he went through the slow suffocation at the cross and this will remind us that he did not die of accident what he died was so excruciating so when you come to the lost table, you remember his death. On, on why did he die? I didn't know who yet. For our sins. He died to pay for our sins. We deserve that punishment. But he took away that punishment. So that we will be delivered from the bondage of sin. If Jesus has done this for us. And he says we should do it in remembrance of him. Why will you disobey him by not eating at the Lord's table? Why will you be thinking that when you eat the Lord's table you will die and so you will not eat? You shall not die but you shall live to declare the glory of God. If there is a particular sin in your life, why don't you repent of it? God is not using communion to frighten us. I know some places they, they use communion to frighten the members. As a pastor, will you invite me for, for, for a dinner and then give me a caveat that there's a possibility of me dying? Will I come? 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 Jesus is not inviting you to kill you. Yes, one friend and so be queen. Hallelujah. Amen. So it is a time also to celebrate. And to thank him for your salvation. Thank him for your forgiveness. Praise him for forgiving you. Of your sins. Not allowing you to die the death that he died. So it is a time to remember his suffering. To remember his suffering. It is a time to remember his death. It is a time to thank him for what he did for us. To praise him. To celebrate him. To honor him. Communion day should be a day of excitement. We should look forward for it. And whenever there is communion, 
We should be excited. That that it is is a special time. The other thing you have to know that it's an honor. It's an honor to dine with your master. As I sit here, if the president invites me to the Jubilee House for a dinner, no matter what, I will feel honored that the president of the land has invited me. Or let's say even a minister of state. Or let's say the 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 the, 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 the a very prominent chief. Invite me to his home for a dinner. Don't I feel honored? Am I wrong to feel honored? Now, wouldn't I be excited to be honored? It, isn't it an honor? Isn't it an honor to be invited by a prominent person to be at the table of that prominent person to dine with him? It will be an honor. And it is important for us to celebrate. In the same vein, when God invite us to his table. It is an honor. The king of kings. The lord of lords. The great I am. The mighty God. The everlasting father. Oh, he walked on the sea. He calmed the waters. He commanded water to gush out of the rock. He raised the dead. He is the mighty one. The everlasting father. The glorious king. The prince of peace. He is the one who is inviting me. The king of kings is inviting me. To be at his table. It is an honor. To be at the table. It is an honor. To eat with the Lord. It is an honor. And I feel honored. This morning I am honored. To be with the master. And to dine with the master. Don't you feel honored? Don't you feel honored? that Jesus is inviting you to come at this table when he invites you he is there he is there his presence is there his power is there his glory is there his anointing is there his grace is there so when he invites you you have to come and dine with him and eat with him it's an honor it's an honor but when he invites you and you come giving you the sumptuous meal you decide not to eat as the communion is being passed around oh you say pass it over how will the master feel when he has honored you so much it's an honor to come to the table of the Lord to dine with the Lord beloved let us take it serious let us take this honor serious and let us thank the Lord for that honor now you can come to the table of the Lord where Jesus is to dine with him his presence is with you his power is with you his grace is with you his anointing is with you his hand is upon you he is throwing that invitation come and dine with me won't you come won't you come why won't you come why won't you dine hey there are blessings in dining the presence of the Lord the aura the aura of his presence alone you will surely benefit and so when you come to the lost table don't take it as one of those times say that Jesus was with me and I'm going to experience his power in the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy Jesus will not invite us and be sitting somewhere he is sitting here he is with us I am that I am he is with us the glorious one he is with us he will never leave us nor forsake us so when you dine his presence is with you and when he is with you whatever you do will prosper Amen. and finally 
It is a time of fellowship. Horizontal and vertical. So first of all, when we come to the Lord's table, the Lord is there. When we are fellowshipping with him. So in your mind, as you are about to take the communion, you commune with the Lord. Say, so, Father, any sin that I've committed, please forgive me. And he forgives. That as you continue to commune with him, today, as I dine with you, let me receive life into my system. Let me receive a miracle in my body. Let this time in your presence and dining with you. Masabria, I know what you said to and so it is a time of fellowship with Jesus. You don't just take it and you might think that you are fellowshipping with him. Oh, and be, be excited. Because I am excited. I am so joyful that I can come to his table hey, and dine with him. Oh, to have fellowship with him through that communion. It is also a time to fellowship one with another. Fellowship one with another. So why won't you come to the Lord's table? Today, Jesus is inviting yes, you. Now come to my table. And when you come to my table, you will experience my grace. As you partake today, if you have any sickness, it will vanish. And I mean it. After we take the communion, I won't lay hands on you. After communion, if someone has been healed, I want you to raise your hand after the communion. Some will be healed. Some with demonic possession will be delivered from that demon. The power of God will hit you because you are dining with Jesus and his presence alone is enough. May the Lord reveal himself to you. May the glory of the Lord be seen upon you. May the power of God come upon you. I see someone at the left hand side receiving your breakthrough. I see someone at the same place receiving your miracle. I see someone at the left side. The Lord is opening a door of, for you. The Lord at the same place. The Lord is opening a chapter of his blessing in your life. I see favor coming upon you. I see the mighty hand of God resting upon you. In the middle here, Someone with a waist pain, the Lord is healing you. I see someone who has suffered depression for a very long time. That depression is breaking. The power of depression is broken off your life. I see someone with eye disease, the Lord is healing you. Yes, receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. May the power of God engulf you. May the anointing of God come upon you. May the spirit of God rest upon you. May the grace of the Lord abound in your life. May the favor of God be upon you as we dine with the Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. So at this hour, if you are here, and you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Now, kindly walk forward. And we'll pray with you. You want to accept him as your Lord and Savior. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Just walk forward. And we'll pray with you. Secondly, you have been worshiping with us for some time now. But today you want to say, I want to be a member of this church. Please feel free and come forward. And we will pray with you. And receive you into membership. If you, if you want to be a member, please walk forward. Mm. If you want to be a member, please walk forward. Thank you, Jesus. And as we go before the Lord. Begin to pray and commit your life to Jesus. Say, Father, forgive me all my sins and cleanse me with your blood. Wash me and sanctify me. Purify me and set me apart for your glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth in prayer. 
Open your mouth and pray. The Lord is here. His presence is here. His glory is here. His power is here. His anointing is here. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. At this juncture, we'll call on the Kenyan dog to pray for us. Father, we are grateful for the opportunity to come before your table. Even as we come, Father, our prayer is that you meet each and every one of us at our point of need. May we not live here the same. May we live here, O oh God, with a visitation from you. May we live here, O oh God, with a manifestation, O oh God, of your spirit in us. And may we live here liberated and set apart for good works unto your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you. The Lord Jesus, in the same night he ch- in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it. And said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do ye a remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup of a, 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 a crew one on. and when he's, he had sup no, 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 no. saying okay, say. this cup is a new testament in my and blood this do ye and as often as you drink it in remembrance of me but as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you show the Lord's death till he comes let's pray father we come to this table as your guests resting only in the worthiness of your son and as we look upon the emblems of our savior's death may we remember why he died to cleanse and to heal to satisfy your righteousness and justice we remember his eternal love and boundless grace may we receive the assurance of forgiveness and eternal life and the hope of glory and as the bread and the cup nourish our body so may your indwelling holy spirit strengthen our souls until the day of Christ's appearing when we will hunger and test no more and sit with him at his heavenly table. Amen. 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 Jesus paid it all. Thy strength indeed is small, child of weakness, watch and pray, find in me thy all in all, Jesus paid it Oh, now. Nah. 
Take the bread and lift it up and say this after me. This is the bread which came down from heaven. This is the bread which came down from heaven. Not as the fathers ate and died. Not as the fathers ate and died. He that eateth this bread, that eateth this bread shall, live shall live forever. Shall we all partake of the body? So please lift the cup as you say this after me. According to the law, all things are cleansed with blood. And without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sins. Amen. Amen. Shall we all partake the wine? We we'll kindly ask Auntie Anita to pray for us. Dickness Anita Lawa. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this honor to be at your table and to dine with you. Father, we believe and we have faith that with this communion, sicknesses are healed, burdens are lifted, chains are broken. Father, we thank you for this honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know somebody has been healed by just partaking of the communion. Amen. Amen. Somebody has been healed by taking this communion. Anyone who is healed, let me see you by hand. Or dining with the Lord. For just, yeah, I see someone raised a hand at the back there. Please stand. Let me see who raised the hand. I saw a hand at the back. Who is that? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I understand. But you have been healed. So one of these days you will come and testify to the glory of God. Amen. Amen.